Communities continue to feel the impact of a summer on high water in Lake Michigan and inland lakes. For some Pentwater residents, that means a flooded road and a lengthy detour. But village leaders came up with a unique way around that. It's where the Pentwater River empties into the Pentwater Lake and Longbridge Road crosses the water there. 13 on your side's John Mills shows us what they did. About 10% of the village of Pentwater residents live on that side of the causeway closure. About 50% of Pentwater Township residents live over there too. The village and township are separated by Pentwater Lake. You have to leave the village to get to the village. And with this section of Longbridge Road closed, for some, it's been a long way to town since May 1st. You have to go south to Hart and come back. That detour will be shorter. We're on the north end of the village marina. By using the community's new water taxi. The Lake Sturgeon. Captain Lee Price can shuttle more than a dozen passengers at a time. Maximum 17. It's something the community has talked about for years. This road closure forced the issue. Once we found out how much was gonna be involved to get the bridge open again, we thought uh, this will be a worthwhile investment. The water taxi debuted last week. Some of Monday's crossings were canceled because the boat needed an oil change. It's Coast Guard and DNR approved and will help residents get to town to shop. Come across here, do all of this stuff, go back. Something the town's chamber is thankful for. Well, they've got a short season to make their money and it's very important to have a crowd. Rides across Pentwater Lake are free. Pickup points are at the Township Boat Launch off Longbridge Road and at the end of Manchester street we'll go straight over there pick people up bring them straight back here the village and township each contributed ten thousand dollars to purchase the boat from a nonprofit in Sutton's Bay all I did was Google water taxis for sale in Michigan schedules are posted in the chamber office on Hancock Street even when the causeway reopens the service may continue this is a little bit of a help to get people back and forth it's a harbor town let's let's be a harbor town the Oceana Road Commission is watching this site and waiting for the water on Penwater Lake to go down. Once that happens, it will take engineering studies to determine what repairs are needed to get this causeway open to traffic again. In Oceana County, John Mills, 13 on your side.